let me tell you a secret. The world's easiest website builder is actually not a website builder. It is, drum roll please, a productivity tool. I'm talking about Notion. Hi everyone, I'm Romy. I'm back with more tools you can use to build websites without code. And today we are exploring Notion. For anyone who's used Notion, you know that it has a cult following for a productivity app. But Notion for websites? I mean, I didn't think of it. And you know what's funny? I don't even think the founders thought of it. They built it as an all-in-one workspace. And before they knew it, people were using it to build websites. So imagine if you have a scary dragon, but one day you're in a bank and you're being attacked by goblins and you use that scary dragon to fly away and escape. Yeah, it's kind of like that. This weekend, I decided I'm going to make a few websites on Notion. And that's when I realized why people love this so much, because it is so damn easy. Don't believe me? I'll show you what I mean. So let me show you what Notion can do. You enter Notion. Hmm, it's a blank page. So you start typing. It just looks like a prettier version of Google Docs. But then you hit the forward slash and your world explodes. First, you see you can add regular stuff like headings, lists, tables. And then you realize you can mention people, add Kanban boards, calendars, images, videos, databases. You can embed code, tweets, maps, PDFs, math equations, and even other Notion pages. Okay, that's crazy. So now you have all of this. What can you use it for? You can track personal and work to-dos, even collaborate on tasks with a team, manage a huge amount of data by organizing it into pages, blocks within pages, even linking pages or nesting pages within another page. Whatever you need to organize your whole life's data. Oh, and if you're a more visual person, you can create checklists. Oh, it's so satisfying. Or galleries or mood boards full of images and videos, even at your page, complex visual elements like a Google map. By the way, you can easily search, sort and filter through any gallery of information or a page of text. So it's like all your productivity apps, your to-do list, Google Drive, but on steroids. Let's look at examples of what people have built with Notion. Now look, Notion is great for building your personal website to showcase your work and tell your story. She has even embedded a PDF in her Notion website, which is her entire thesis. Or you can use Notion to sell something, like he's selling simple black and white icons for you to download and use on your phone. This Notion page made this guy a cool quarter million dollars. Wow. It's also perfect to create simple and clean company websites. And if you want to talk to your customers, you can even use another tool called Chili Pepper to embed forms for them to contact you. But what Notion is best for is resource style sites and directories. Because it's so visual, you can easily organize it into beautiful tables and even filter and sort through a huge amount of data. And each page of data can have multiple pages linked within it. This Hamilton website is a perfect example of a complex directory made simple because of Notion. They really went all out. A whole gallery of images, a page for each cast member, separate pages with lyrics for each song, and even embedded Spotify links. I love it. And Notion can help you write a book. I'm dead serious. I mean, look, this entire book on pregnancy is such an easy to use visual tool jam-packed with helpful info for every trimester. Checklists, tips, and tricks, all of which makes it more interactive than a boring ebook. Who wouldn't want to read a book in this format? Now, instead of creating a website from scratch, I'm going to show you how easy it is to recreate any Notion website you like. I've said this before. A good practice to start learning something is to mimic a great example of it. So we'll take the site and treat it like a Word doc. I'll select all, copy, paste. Simple. Notion's already winning against other website builders. You can't do this with any that I know of. Okay, now the copy doesn't quite look the same. All the data is there, but it's of course not formatted. Some of the images are bigger, the text is not designed, so let's reformat and adjust things. First, let's change the page heading to the site title. We'll add a divider to give it a sectioned feeling. 
you just press the slash and start typing divider and it magically appears. The first section, the big image, to move this to the right, we simply drag it till we see it automatically format to a new column and drop it. Now, this text here, I can turn it into a quote to emphasize it. For the next section, it looks like all we need to do is organize the text in two columns. We do that by dragging and dropping. We can change the background of any text by clicking on the element and choosing the right color. We can turn them into callouts and even add some emojis. Now, this image section here with these brand logos, just like before, we need to arrange them in columns two for the first and three for the second. Resize, drag, drop, rinse and repeat. I could do this with my eyes closed. All right, next up is this numbered list section. So first, I resize each number and drag the text into a column on the right. But this time, we also change the column width by simply moving this column handle. Easy, intuitive. Let's do this for two and three. And there we have it. So I'm going to fast forward through the rest because the other sections had the same methods. But it took me only 10 minutes. And here you go. I've recreated a whole website with Notion. Now, there are a couple of elements in the original site I've not recreated yet. The forms and the calendar. And that's because they are external services. I'll be covering those in future videos about Notion. But essentially, I wanted to show you how easy it is to get started making your own Notion website. So now we come to the point of hosting. What if you want to put this on a domain you bought? Since Notion is an unintentional website builder, it of course does not have hosting plans, which typically come with website building tools. So I would recommend using a product like Super, and you can follow these simple steps to host your own domain. It just takes minutes. I'll leave links to other things you can use in the description box below. So Notion is cool, Notion is easy. And here's the biggest reason I think why you should use Notion to build your websites. Because it's so fast, it's like you have a blank document, you start typing some things into it, resize it, and somehow you have a beautiful looking website. It's that simple. So you literally have no excuse now. If you can type, you can build a website. And if you're not a designer, don't worry, because Notion is so strict about the design changes you can make. You can't make a bad looking website. You literally cannot. I dare you. Also, Notion is pretty affordable. Technically, you can build a free website on Notion, but then it won't be searchable on Google. So for that to happen, Notion charges $4 a month. And then it's another $4 to Super, which is the hosting service. So that's like eight bucks a month which is not bad compared to the 12 to $20 a month you'll spend on other services. So Notion is great for certain kinds of websites like directory or resources sites or even company or personal websites. If that's all you need, definitely try Notion first. On the other hand, sometimes these great features on Notion may also be the reason why Notion may not work for you. Let me explain. So first of all, remember design. I told you Notion is very strict about it to the point that there are only three fonts you can pick from. If you want to customize further, I wouldn't recommend Notion. And because they are so strict about design, all Notion websites kind of look like the same. Technically, there is a way you can insert custom code into Notion, but I'm not getting into that right now. So what I'm saying is that you can build a beautiful and functional website on Notion, but don't expect it to be the most unique one in the world, okay? And probably the biggest thing, because Notion wasn't intended to be a website building tool, it doesn't have a lot of standard functionality which other website builder tools have. Templates and forms and widgets and payments and newsletter connections. This is not all inbuilt as part of Notion, but there are other services that can connect to Notion for this, but it's just extra work. That's my big pitch on why you should consider Notion to build a website. If you can type, you can literally build a website. So stop making excuses and go build that website. And I want to hear about all the projects you're working on with Notion. So comment below and like and subscribe so we can keep talking. All right, this is Romy. And as always, I hope this week you get over your inertia and make something.